Hey, what's happening guys? Tyler Hollinger here from High Life Productions. Today, we're gonna show you one of my favorite all-time classic New York cocktails, a ragtime rye, hickory smoked old-fashioned. Let's get into it. Now this is my old-fashioned, might not be your old-fashioned or your father's old-fashioned or your old-fashioned's fashioned fashion. But we're gonna do a couple things that are a little bit different. What we have here is a combination of two rye whiskeys. We have the Mr. Katz Rock and Rye and the classic Ragtime Rye. Now this Rock and Rye essentially is rye mixed with rock candy. Back in Prohibition days, it was a really popular easy drink for you to put in a bottle and get out the door. Although I find it comes off a little sweet, we're gonna cut it with just a straight rye. You're gonna to wanna to be stirring this drink. This is not a drink that you shake because you don't want a lot of dilution to happen. We have our large ice cube molds. We're gonna drop two of those in our mixing glass. We're going for two ounces of the ragtime rye mixed with two ounces of the rockin' rye. Now a classic old fashioned just has whiskey, bitters, orange and cherry and a little bit of sugar water. And we're gonna do a couple things a little bit different. We have our bitters. I like the Dale DeGrom pimento bitters. Adds a nice little touch, very unique flavors. Couple dashes in there. And then I also have some Fee Brothers cherry bitters because that's gonna bring out the cherry which we're gonna muddle in the glass in just a sec. We put those both in the mixing glass and then we take our orange segment, just a little bit, not a lot. Our orange segment, drop it in the glass along with one cherry. Now this is the creme de la creme of cherries right here. These are Luxardo cherries. They are the best in the biz. One of my favorite. Don't do the mar maraschinos, fake sugar, not so great. And we're gonna add just a little bit of simple syrup. Now you can use simple or you can use a granulated sugar, which is really nice in this cocktails as well. And we're gonna do a little bit of muddling right off the bat here. It's just a tap. You don't wanna macerate the fruit, but you wanna tap it to open up, let it breathe. Now, we're gonna drop our large ice in here. In the meantime, our whiskey has been soaking. So we're gonna stir. You wanna do about 20 times to manage the dilution. Now that these are nice and mixed together, we're gonna to pour this out straight over ice, just like so. In many scenarios, this would be ready to go, ready to drink cocktail right there. We're gonna add a little hickory smoke to this. Little bit of hickory right in our smoking box. And then we open up the door, set her in. Now, I know a lot of you are saying out there, what, what if I don't have a hickory smoke box? Well, then you can't actually do this cocktail. But these boxes are very easy to come by. We use it a lot in our restaurant here in New York City. It's great for smoking a variety of different cocktails. Anything that you wanna have a little touch or a little hint of that sort of woodsy, smoky feeling. Also, it's, it's great presentation for people at the bar. We're gonna take out our old fashioned. Wow, that's looking incredible. Finally, to top it off, we're gonna do a nice, thick, fresh orange peel. And we're gonna do a little trick that we like to do is toast this orange peel, which loosens up the oils in it, lets all that flavor come out, and then right into the glass. Cheers. <laughs> 